This is the Azalea Festival. And here is our expert on azaleas, Dave Nanny. He knows a lot about azaleas, but nothing about non azaleas. I'm saying I'm sorry, I would have dug the Many of these have the names, and some of them are embedded in groups by the hybridizer. Wow, that's serious gardening. So this one is called Frosty, and this one is called Cinnabar. And it looks like it has a, a bar of cinnamon in some of the flowers, some speckles. Very pretty. So an azalea is a bush that has pink and purple flowers, and some are white, and they bloom in the spring. I know that for sure. This, for example, is not a, uh, an azalea. You can tell by the leaves, the leaves are completely different. It might be a magnolia. Some of the flowers are rather large, and this is a clump of magnolia, or azalea flowers. Oh, so maybe that other plant was an azalea. We think this might be jasmine or honeysuckle, but we don't really know. This is a garden path lined with azaleas, and over here on the lawn, hey, that's a nice looking red car. Well, it looks good from a distance. It is really very pretty. Nice collection, nicely shaped into a garden path. You know, I can't tell an azalea from a fuchsia myself. Oh, and in the bright sun, the whites and the pinks are very nice. Wow. This one seems to have long, skinny flowers. It's a beautiful yard. I can see why. The Azalea Society would be interested in this. This is the variegated calamintha or calamintha. Looks like mint, smells like mint, is not mint. It is a beautiful yard. All in all, it's a beautiful garden, and I've learned more about azaleas today than I ever thought I would. Uh, they're pink and purple and white flowers. They grow on a shrub, a bush, and uh, Dave has hundreds of varieties here. They're great. Dave, thanks for inviting me out for the Azalea Festival. Thanks for watching, everyone.